guys, what's up? I just want to update you on what's been keeping me so busy for the past 12 hours. And I actually um, learned about this from someone in DEF CON 24. And he's a very nice guy. His name is Troy. And he introduced me to radio. He's on Twitter. His handle is Waveguide. And he showed me some, some cool stuff, which is really cool. <laughs> and and then so so what i'd like to show you today is what i've been doing for the past 12 hours so this is my vm which is running virtual box i mean i'm using virtual box and i'm using bunso labs which is just a another uh, linux distro it's it's debian okay and then what I've been doing is I've been installing tools which will help me gather information or capture our RF signals like from, from weather satellites or anything like I brought here with me my car keys and I'll show to you how we will do that later. Although the device I have here is just a cheap one, it won't. I won't be able to replay the data that, that I will be able to receive or that I, that I will be capturing. There are devices that will allow you to transmit the data that you have um, captured. But for me, for now, I don't have I don't have that device yet, so I won't. I won't demonstrate how to replay a traffic or signal. And yeah, this is the antenna which comes with the with the with the device I bought the other day. So look at that, it's so tall. I think it's like five feet long. And I've been so interested in this stuff. It's called um, software defined radio and the guys in IRC internet relay chat internet relay chat has been helping me so much and they gave me links which helped me install things I need to put on my Debian like one of these is the G predict which will which will show to me where the present position of uh, of a satellite this is actually a weather satellite that's noaa 18 19 and 15. according to those people that i spoke with those are the three active um active satellites and you'll see here also meteor m2 i think it's it's uh it's a, it's a R russian satellite but i was really shocked last night when i was playing with it i thought they were stationary though there are there are satellites that are stationary but this one they move so fast like they can pass your area like three times a day and the reason why i'm doing this is because i wanted to um, capture weather images via satellite you can grab them you can grab them from the internet but grabbing them from a satellite using this device i mean that antenna and this device the rtl is really cool all right so let's get started i want to run first gqrx which is like an, an interface to uh, to capture RF signals. All right, let's start that. Let's see, I'm gonna type, it's gonna be hard for me because I only have two hands and then my right hand is holding the, see, there you go. That's what it is. So earlier I said normal weather, but 
here this is no already that's the frequency of no radio you can grab that from the web okay and you can you can you can just grab anything as long as you're as you're getting like strong signal and then what else um let's yeah that's right let's click start okay Can you hear it, guys? See, it's live. You just heard it. It's 2.29 p.m. Central Time. And this is my time. Right? And this can also be used. This tool can also be used to capture data from, from those weather satellites. You'll have to record it and later post-process the, the wave file. Because um, the wave file contains the the image i don't know how it's done but yeah there are already tools which can help you extract it it is really cool all right let's stop it um there's a site called radio reference which has i mean which will help you find find different frequencies of things you want to listen you can listen to like medical hospital something police but i won't do that i don't want to hear i don't want to listen or don't want to sniff uh, police chat i think that's inappropriate so let me close this now so we can release the uh since it's using that device i want to I, I show you another tool let me let me run LSUSB first. L S since it's a USB device, LSUSB. Can you see see the first line? Yeah, that's that's the driver, that's the module that's loaded. So LSUSB USB does show that the device is connected to my to my machine. Alright, let's run Let's run this now. We're going to listen to frequency 315 megahertz. All right. Because I found out today while I was trying to capture my, my car keys, by default, most of, most of the car keys are using 433 megahertz. But so glad that this guy from IRC, uh, HackRF channel, they told me, hey, why don't you try 315 megahertz? So I tried it. So when I when I tried that, I was shocked. Wow. So it did work. So we're going to start it now, right? So I just started it. And then by default, these are the devices that it can capture. I think they are for 433 megahertz. But like what I said, I set up 350 megahertz because that's where my that's where my uh, key works. Even my Acura, it uses 315. So here, oh. so you'll see my card is here. I'm gonna press it now. I'm gonna press the door open see it's capturing it's capturing the the signal that it's sending it to and I saw a DEFCON video this morning too and each each signal it's it it likes some um, it's kind of like represents a DIP switch or dip switch and it's just the same and also, this reminds me of 
uh, of the IR blaster that I built back in 2005 for my Myth TV. So that one is just for infrared. So I use IR Rec and then I, I press the remote control and it does the same thing. See? Can you see it? See, I'm going to press it and look at the background. See? It's moving. I'm going to press. Okay. Bam. Sweet. All right. So now that we've captured the data, we can, we can actually um, replay this, this signal and we would be able to open up the, the car. Or you can just actually look at, although we can't see it from here. There's an FCC ID and there's a site called FCC.io which will tell you what frequency it is. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. And then one more, I want to show you one more. And there are more, but that's all I know for now because that's all I learned for my, for my, uh, for my first 12 hours. Okay. This is the one that will capture um, RF signal from from the Meteor M2 satellite. This is it, right? That's it. So it's in Africa right now. Earlier, like five minutes ago, it was here. So that's how quick it travels. Damn, I thought it was just like stationary. But anyways, I wanna show you something. So I'll have to find out what time it will be at my place, which is Huntley. Right, I set this up last night. Okay, you have to supply the lat and long. Okay, you have to right click there. It's gonna be tough because I only have one hand. I mean two hands, one is already in use. Oh, there you go, nice. So I'm gonna click ground. That that just shows the path. And then one more right click. Oh man, it's hard. Right click. And then future passes. So I learned this from again from those people in uh, HackRF or I think it was RTL SDR channel. Yeah, that's the one. And then I was told to find the highest altitude uh, from the max EL column. So for so right now we're seeing 85, 88.55 degrees. So that's the highest elevation. So what you have to do there is you have to double click it. There you go. So, and then you have to click polar. See? So let's go back. Um, so that crosshair, I was told that that's my lat long. So it will pass around in between 234 and 237. So here you have like 15 minutes to prepare. I think you can still grab everything here. And although I have not tried it yet, especially if you have a strong antenna, that should be fine. So around, so there's actually a time, around 244 UTC time, that's when it will be um, that's when it will be I mean M2 satellite will be above my head at 244 UTC time so that's around like 9 p.m. 944 p.m. so yep so what's the day I forgot what's the day 823 and today is what um I think it's what day is today Oh, tomorrow. Okay, damn it. So it's tomorrow, not today. Anyways, so yeah, let's run the tool now. And all you have to do is just run it, and then you'll run it when when the meteor meteor M two satellite is within within the circle. And you it will start capturing, and then depending on where you where you configure 
where it will save. So that's where it's that's where it will save it. So let's run it. Okay, it's gonna run it now. Here you go. See, it's it is capturing. And the NOAA. Now I'm not I'm not talking about M2 anymore. I'm talking about NOAA. I was told. I mean, the link that I was reading last night. NOAA satellite sends out on frequency 11,025 um, hertz. Okay, but this one, it uses. I mean, it sends out on frequency 137.1, but there's also another frequency 137.9 and also 137.6. That's what I remember. And then once you close this tool, once you stop it, it will save it um, inside my desktop folder where I can process the file with another tool. And I won't be showing that since I'm not familiar with that tool yet. All right, I hope this is a nice walkthrough of what I learned for the past 12 hours. I hope you guys like it. And if you have some questions, just... Um, it just, just just put a comment, all right, and then I'll do my best. Uh, I'll share what I have learned. Anyway, so far, I'm so happy with it. Happy SDRing. All right, guys. See you later.